Hello, this is going to be a video on HETCOR or HMQC, sometimes HSQC, lots of these acronyms in 2D NMR. So this is a one bond heteronuclear correlation. So it shows you, usually it's used, it can be used for other systems, but the system that we're gonna see this semester is H to C, and it tells you exactly which proton is bonded to which carbon. So you'll see on this axis, I have my proton NMR. On this axis, I've got the carbon 13 NMR. And so then you can just walk yourself over. I've got a carbon 13 peak at 10, and it correlates to a proton peak at 0.9. And the same thing, 28 to 1.5, my drawings aren't, um, my uh, lines aren't very straight. Um, and then I've got a third peak at about 43, down to 2.6. And if I've got this structure of propylamine, this peak at C, there's two hydrogens there, so it doesn't tell you how many are bonded, it just tells you which peak is correlated to which peak. So that those peaks are on the carbon at 43, and that makes perfect sense by chemical shift. And on this particular spectrum, you probably could figure this out because you've, by chemical shift alone. Um, but that's just a simple one to help you look at it. We'll look at one more, and then we'll move on to a related technique in the next video. So this is HMQC for ethyl E2 butene O8. So let's draw that. That's a butene O8 E, so trans and an ester, and an ethyl group. Okay, so now I've got, in terms of proton, I have an ethyl group and this vinylic group. So at 14, I've got a peak. Let's see here. So, I, and I should have an ethyl group, and then I should have a methyl bonded to an allylic group or a vinyl. So this is a little, um, so we can kind of already pick these out, but this will confirm who's bonded to whom. Here's my ethyl group. And so I would, let's go ahead and give these a name, A, B, well, uh, well think of the name. Yeah, doesn't matter. A, B, C, D, and E for now. So at 14, I've got, my lowest one and it correlates over to this methyl. So 14 is B because that's the methyl that's coupled to this ethyl group. So that's my ethyl right here. This is A and A is at 60 which makes sense for being next to an oxygen. Now without HMQC it would be very hard to predict whether the 14 or the 18. So you could by the coupling in this one. But in general, sometimes you can't tell by shift, especially in the carbon 13 NMR. You wouldn't know which of these was the methyl at this end versus the methyl at this end. So then I have the E, that's this one. So E is the, pro is the methyl at 18 and 143, 145, and 168. So we have at six or five point something. Oh, I'm supposed to be putting the shifts. So this is like 5.8 goes to 143. And at 145 is, so very similar shifts, um, is the peak at seven. And at 168, is a null, that's my carbonyl. So there's no protons on it. And it doesn't show up then. Okay, so this is very straightforward. Which protons are bonded to which carbons? So we'll look at some more in the next video when we talk about long range correlations in HMBC.